from the disaster films of Hollywood to the eerie post-apocalyptic settings of books and video games, the idea of rising sea levels swallowing up entire cities has long been a source of fascination and fear. But while these scenarios once seemed like distant fiction, the reality is creeping closer with every passing year. Across the United States, coastal regions are already feeling the effects of a changing climate, and some states face the looming threat of losing significant portions of their land to the ocean. With a combination of sinking land, intensifying storms, and rising tides, five states in particular stand on the edge of a watery future. If trends continue, some of the most recognizable places in the country could be unrecognizable by the end of the century. In this video, we're taking a closer look at the five U.S. states most at risk of disappearing beneath rising sea levels. Florida, the most vulnerable state in the U.S. Florida has long been known for its stunning beaches, vibrant nightlife, and of course its status as a retiree paradise. But beneath the sunshine and palm trees lies a growing crisis. With over 70% of the state sitting at or near sea level, Florida is ground zero for rising ocean waters. Miami, one of the most iconic cities in the state, already experiences what's known as sunny day flooding, instances where streets flood not because of storms, but simply due to high tides. The situation is even more dire for the Florida Keys, a chain of low-lying islands that could become completely uninhabitable within the next few decades. Saltwater intrusion is another silent but dangerous threat. As sea levels rise, saltwater seeps into underground freshwater sources, contaminating drinking water supplies. This is already happening in South Florida, where residents rely on the Biscayne Aquifer for fresh water. If the aquifer becomes too salty, alternative water sources will be needed, and they won't come cheap. Beyond everyday flooding, hurricanes are also a major concern. With warmer ocean temperatures fueling stronger storms, Florida's coastline is at greater risk than ever before. Cities like Tampa, Fort Lauderdale, and Naples are in danger of being wiped out by storm surges, which are only growing more destructive. In a worst-case scenario, experts predict that by 2100, large sections of southern Florida, including Miami, could be permanently underwater. Even conservative estimates show that much of the state's coastline will be dramatically reshaped in the coming decades. Efforts to combat these threats include the construction of seawalls, improved drainage systems, and even plans to raise roads. But these measures come with astronomical costs. While some communities are investing in short-term fixes, the long-term future of Florida remains uncertain. If sea levels continue to rise at the current rate, the Sunshine State could become the first major U.S. region to face mass displacement due to climate change. Louisiana, a disappearing coastline. Louisiana is no stranger to land loss. The state has already lost an estimated 2,000 square miles of coastline since the 1930s, and the problem is only getting worse. Unlike some other coastal areas, Louisiana's land isn't just at risk from rising seas, it's actively sinking. This phenomenon, known as land subsidence, is the result of both natural processes and human activity. The Mississippi River Delta, which once built new land through sediment deposits, no longer replenishes the coast at the same rate due to levee systems and other infrastructure. New Orleans, a city that sits largely below sea level, is especially vulnerable. In 2005, Hurricane Katrina provided a devastating preview of what Louisiana's future could look like, with storm surges overwhelming levees and flooding large portions of the city. Since then, hurricanes like Ida and Laura have continued to test the region's ability to withstand extreme weather events. The combination of storm surge and gradual land loss has put many coastal communities in a precarious position. Outside of New Orleans, entire towns have already begun disappearing. Ile de Jean Charles, home to a Native American community, has seen its land shrink dramatically, forcing residents to relocate inland. Similar stories are playing out across the bayou, with communities like Grand Isle and Terrebonne Parish facing increasing flood risks that make everyday life nearly impossible. Efforts to slow Louisiana's disappearing coast include massive restoration projects aimed at rebuilding marshlands and reinforcing levees. However, these measures may only buy time rather than solve the underlying issue. By 2100, Louisiana's coastline could look drastically different, with some areas vanishing altogether beneath the encroaching Gulf of Mexico. Texas, sinking at an alarming rate. 
Texas might not be the first state that comes to mind when discussing rising sea levels, but its Gulf Coast is in just as much danger as Florida and Louisiana. The combination of powerful hurricanes, coastal erosion, and groundwater extraction is causing some areas to sink at an astonishing rate. In fact, parts of the Texas coastline are subsiding by as much as two inches per year, significantly accelerating the impact of sea level rise. Cities like Houston and Galveston are particularly vulnerable. Houston, the fourth largest city in the U.S., has a long history of flooding, most recently demonstrated by Hurricane Harvey in 2017. The storm dumped over 60 inches of rain in some areas, causing catastrophic damage and highlighting the city's poor drainage infrastructure. Galveston, an island city, faces even greater risks. As sea levels rise and storms intensify, the possibility of a direct hit from a major hurricane grows, threatening to erase large parts of the city. Barrier islands along the Texas coast, which provide natural protection from storm surges, are also eroding at a rapid pace. Without these natural buffers, inland communities will face the full force of rising waters and extreme weather events. Some experts predict that by the end of the century, entire sections of the Texas coastline could be permanently underwater. While Texas officials have proposed various flood prevention strategies, including a multi-billion dollar coastal barrier system, funding and execution remain challenges. If Texas cannot find a way to address its sinking coastline, some of its most populated areas could be forced to retreat inland. North Carolina, the Outer Banks in Peril North Carolina's coastline, known for its picturesque beaches and historic lighthouses, is under constant threat from erosion and rising tides. The Outer Banks, a series of barrier islands that stretch along the coast, are among the most vulnerable areas in the country. These islands have been shifting and shrinking for centuries, but human development and climate change are accelerating their disappearance. Since 1950, sea levels along the North Carolina coast have risen by roughly 12 inches, a rate that is expected to accelerate in the coming decades. Frequent storms and hurricanes batter the Outer Banks, washing away beaches and damaging infrastructure. Some roads have had to be rebuilt multiple times as the ocean reclaims the land. Towns like Nags Head and Kitty Hawk face an uncertain future as continued development clashes with the reality of a changing coastline. Some experts believe that parts of the Outer Banks could become uninhabitable within the next 50 years. New Jersey, a sinking shoreline. New Jersey's coastline has long been a symbol of summer escapes, with its iconic boardwalks, bustling beach towns, and famous shore culture drawing millions of visitors each year. But beneath this lively exterior, the Garden State is facing an increasingly dire environmental crisis. Rising tides and coastal subsidence are working in tandem to reshape the state's shoreline, threatening both its economy and the communities that call it home. Atlantic City, one of New Jersey's most well-known tourist hubs, is already experiencing severe flooding issues, with roads and homes frequently swamped by water that wasn't a problem just a few decades ago. Scientists estimate that tidal flooding in New Jersey has surged by a staggering 300% over the past 50 years, a trend that shows no signs of slowing. If projections hold, more than 50,000 homes could be permanently underwater by 2050, making large portions of the state uninhabitable. Unlike some other states on this list, New Jersey faces the dual threat of rising sea levels and a coastline that is physically sinking. This means that even a relatively small increase in sea levels will have a more dramatic effect here than in other coastal regions. Communities along the Jersey Shore, including Long Beach Island, Cape May, and Ocean City, are already seeing an increase in property damage and displacement due to rising tides. Billion-dollar beachfront properties, which once seemed like safe investments, may become worthless in the coming decades if current trends persist. The insurance industry has taken notice, with rates rising sharply for coastal properties and some companies even pulling out of high-risk areas altogether. Beyond residential and commercial concerns, New Jersey's infrastructure is also at risk. Roads, bridges, and drainage systems are all being tested by the increase in flooding events. Some municipalities have launched ambitious flood mitigation projects, including the installation of seawalls and improved drainage systems. But these measures only provide temporary relief. The cost of long-term protection could reach into the billions, leaving the state with difficult decisions about what areas to save and which to abandon. 
Despite these challenges, New Jersey is actively working to combat the crisis. Efforts such as restoring wetlands, elevating homes, and investing in flood resilience projects are underway. However, as the ocean continues its slow and steady advance, the fate of the state's coastal areas remains uncertain. If action isn't taken on a larger scale, New Jersey could soon find itself with a coastline that looks drastically different from the one people have known for generations. The Sinking States, a closer look at a changing landscape. Each of the five states discussed, Florida, Louisiana, Texas, North Carolina, and New Jersey, is facing its own unique struggle against the encroaching ocean, but they all share a common thread. The land is disappearing faster than efforts to save it. Whether through rising sea levels, subsidence, or extreme weather events, these coastal states are losing ground at an alarming rate. In some areas, the damage is slow and steady, creeping up over decades. In others, a single storm can wipe away entire neighborhoods overnight. Florida stands as the most vulnerable state in the nation, with Miami, the Keys, and large sections of South Florida already dealing with tidal flooding, saltwater intrusion, and increasingly destructive hurricanes. Louisiana's land loss is perhaps the most extreme, with thousands of square miles of coastline already gone, leaving New Orleans and surrounding areas fighting an uphill battle to stay above water. Texas faces a lesser discussed but equally significant threat as parts of its Gulf Coast are sinking rapidly due to both natural erosion and human-caused subsidence. Meanwhile, North Carolina's outer banks are eroding and shifting, threatening to cut off entire communities from the mainland, while New Jersey faces a one-two punch of rising tides and sinking land that threatens to submerge parts of its most famous shore towns within a few decades. The consequences of these changes stretch far beyond just these five states. The economic toll of rising sea levels is already being felt, with property values in at-risk areas plummeting and insurance premiums skyrocketing. Cities and states are struggling to fund the necessary flood mitigation efforts, leading to tough choices about which areas to protect and which to leave behind. Displacement is becoming a growing reality as more people are forced to move inland, creating a slow but steady climate migration within the U.S. As sea levels continue to rise, this trend will only accelerate, potentially reshaping the demographic and economic landscape of the country. Beyond human impact, the environment itself is undergoing profound changes. The loss of wetlands and barrier islands, natural buffers against storm surges, is making hurricanes and flooding even more destructive. Wildlife habitats are disappearing and ecosystems that have existed for centuries are being upended. These states, once known for their rich coastal environments, may soon become examples of what happens when climate change outpaces human intervention. While mitigation efforts are in place, they often require enormous investments and long-term planning that many local governments struggle to maintain. Some experts believe that the best solution isn't to fight the water, but to adapt to it, creating floating infrastructure, elevated homes, and even managed retreat plans that relocate entire communities to safer ground. However, such large-scale adaptation strategies come with their own set of economic and social challenges. The big question now is whether these states and the nation as a whole can act fast enough to stem the tide. With sea levels projected to continue rising well into the next century, the decisions made today will determine whether these regions can survive or if they will ultimately be claimed by the ocean. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think these states are doing enough to protect their coastlines, or is the threat too big to stop? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.